Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your video for this Sunday morning, June the 21st. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. Some rain on the radar just after 6 a.m. as we sort of expected it would. And it sort of led us to think those rain chances will be a little higher today. A few showers showing up across western Alabama. Some showers west of Decatur. Line of showers now from Florence uh, down through uh, western Lawrence County. Uh, on through um, western Winston County into Fayette County near Fayette there. And you can see... Uh, sort of configured uh, in a comma shape there back in Mississippi associated with a disturbance. Uh, more showers back over the uh, Magnolia State uh, from uh, Corinth and New Albany in the north back to uh, north of uh, Yazoo City in the Delta. Uh, that activity will move into Alabama, sort of intensify as we get into the heating of the day, and uh, we shall see fairly numerous showers and thunderstorms later today. Here's the upper pattern across the United States showing a broad trough covering much of the country, uh, but a fairly pronounced shortwave trough there in the Midwest, centered uh, the axis between Kansas City and St. Louis. That trough will be uh, swinging around over the next 24 hours, bringing us those better chances of rain today and tomorrow. And uh, another trough will be swinging into its place by Tuesday uh, over the plains and uh, snapping into the Midwest and uh, spelling another chance of rain for us uh, on into midweek, and uh, a little front that'll wander into here uh, for Thursday, but it won't stick around for very long. Now, this is this afternoon on the GFS. These maps aren't going to look a lot different. Uh, they will kind of be painted green every day, and that means that rain chances are in the forecast, but it is summer in Alabama officially on all fronts as of yesterday, uh, astronomically even as of uh, the solstice yesterday afternoon, but we would expect uh, scattered uh, to numerous showers and thunderstorms this afternoon across Alabama. If you get under one of those, you can pick up a quick inch of rain. Uh, average rainfall amounts, though, are going to uh, be, uh, you know, probably somewhere between a tenth and three quarters of an inch of rain. We'll be watching out for that. Uh, probably a secondary little push of showers uh, into the evening hours that'll be sort of dying out. Uh, things calm down, we drop into the upper 60s to near 70 overnight after uh, being in the upper 80s to near 90 today. Now for Monday, it's um, not a lot different. I think the coverage is kind of the same. Maybe we don't have the same impetus from the trough. Maybe about a 1 in 2 chance that you'll see rain in your backyard. Uh, again, it's kind of more of the same. It's warm, humid, breezy. Today, you'll actually notice some breezy conditions, uh, uh, pressure gradient setting up between the uh, strong high over the Atlantic and uh, kind of sort of lowering pressures to the west. Be more of the same tomorrow. Occasionally see a wind gust, um, you know, by tomorrow evening up 15, uh, 16, 17 miles an hour. It's more of the same today. You'll kind of notice the air moving around, but it's a, a warm air, so it's not very, um, not very refreshing for sure. So uh, suffice to say, more in the way of scattered showers and thunderstorms, highs around 90. Now, for Tuesday... Uh, that trough is getting its act together over the Midwest, and um, I think we have a higher chance of rain, especially as we go later into the uh, into the day. Um, pretty high chances of rain for Tuesday, uh, something on the order of 70-80%. Rain and thunderstorms likely to be a little cooler, more clouds, 85-86 degrees for the high. And uh, as that happens, and that's going to be pushing a, a front toward us, on Wednesday, again, rain chances up pretty high again, 70-80% uh, category, uh, more clouds and rain, high temperatures in the lower and middle 80s. Um, I wouldn't expect we'd see anything severe except for these isolated storms that get strong and, uh, you know, develop up and, you know, produce some downbursts. So, you know, we'll be watching that. I think we'll have pretty saturated profiles in the atmosphere, so I wouldn't think that would be a huge problem, but it's something we'll watch. Now, the GFS thinks that front gets down to I-20 or so and uh, pushes the rain into South Alabama for Thursday. That's a little doubtful. We'll keep uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast uh, for north and central Alabama, but by Friday, uh, another system moving up through Iowa, pulling that front back to the north as a warm front, so we'll be back in the soup here in Alabama. Not that anything really changed on Thursday anyway, maybe just a brief respite from the rain. But uh, we'll say widely scattered showers and thunderstorms for Friday. High temperatures back up uh, in the upper 80s again.
And then for Saturday, we're going to be watching that dust. Um, you know, that Saharan dust we've been talking about. It may get in here and eat up uh, the rain chances. Uh, we would normally see scattered showers and thunderstorms, uh, you know, with the pattern that we'll be in for next Saturday and Sunday. But you kind of notice on the GFS that they're sort of gone. And here's sort of the reason. This is that Saharan dust coming all the way across the, uh, across the Atlantic right now. And uh, it's going to work its way into the southern United States, sort of acting as a little bit of a, of, a, of a dust mop or a sponge or something, so sucking the atmosphere out of the moisture that it has. And uh, that may lessen those rain chances. Now, it will lead to some beautiful sunsets uh, if it materializes and happens, as is expected here. Um, and, but it also could produce some respiratory uh, distress for folks that are a little vulnerable. So we'll want to caution you about that. Um, uh, for next weekend, uh, probably starting as early as Thursday or Friday, continuing into Saturday and Sunday. Now, Voodoo Territory will go out to the 4th of July. We can see out that far now. Scattered showers and thunderstorms, not exceptionally rainy, not a washout by any means, but you will deal with those as nature's fireworks for this 4th of July. We'll be having fun uh, tomorrow night on Weather Brains talking uh, about uh, sheltering in the time of covid uh, We'll be talking to folks from the uh, American Meteorological Society's uh, Committee on Emergency Management. They came up with those guidelines for sheltering uh, uh, during tornadoes back in uh, the spring when we were um, worried about that and the virus at the same time. Now we're worried about the virus and hurricanes at the same time, and uh, they're about to uh, release uh, their guidelines for that. We'll be doing that on Weather Brains tomorrow night at 8 p.m. in all the normal places. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, the 21st of June, our first full day of summer. And it will again feel like it, much like it did yesterday. But uh, until next, this time next week when I'll be in this same seat, uh, giving you the same talk and telling you the same thing that I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.